All right, hi there, this is Dr. Matthew J. Trom from Engineer Inc. The purpose of this video is to showcase my low pressure sodium vapor lamp, which I show here. Uh, I assemble this lamp out of three principal components. Uh, I will list the components where I bought them from and their cost uh, in the comments below. Um, but the first component is the lamp, which is here. The second component is the mounting hardware for the lamp, which is here. And then the third, component is the ballast, which is inside this electrical box. So there's the ballast there. The purpose of the ballast is to take uh, electricity from a 120 volt AC receptacle and increase the voltage significantly so that the electrodes, which are here and down here in the bulb, um, can drive current through the gas that is uh, inside the bulb. So if you give me a moment, I'll get the junction box closed up again and get it set up to turn on so we can see uh, what happens when we fire it up. All right, so this is our low pressure sodium lamp and I'm about to turn it on for the first time. Uh, you can see here, there's a series of uh, sort of semi-spherical metallic looking patches that are inside the light. Those are the solid sodium uh, reservoirs and as I turn on the lamp we'll see it spark and flash um, through argon and neon and eventually change color to uh, that monochromatic yellow that's so characteristic of sodium. So here I'll turn it on. So now the lamp is illuminated and you can see uh, down here towards this end, um, these are the electrodes, the cathode, uh, which is igniting and setting up <coughs> the plasma um, in argon and neon. Um, just so that you can see this better, um, I'm going to go shut off the incandescent light bulb that I'm using to illuminate my workshop. All right, so here's the lamp warming up, but no longer illuminated by incandescent light. This is what it looks like essentially uh, in a darkened room. And you can see there's still these solid patches of sodium, those will eventually change phase uh, first to liquid and then to gas, they'll vaporize. Uh, and as that happens, we'll see a change in the color from the bright pink that you're seeing now to that monochromatic uh, yellow color characteristic of these low pressure sodium lamps. So um, I'm going to just let the video run um, and run it fast forward ahead so that you can watch that process happen. Okay, so we are now about 10 minutes into the strike process uh, and not sure how it's showing up on video uh, but it's very clear uh, to me just observing with the naked eye that uh, this section of the lamp here that's closest to the electrodes um, is a very bright monochromatic yellow and then that yellow color inherent uh, or representative of the sodium vapor um, and the intensity of light kind of falls off as I move down to this end of the lamp, and I'm not sure that you can see it in the video, but there's still uh, a little bit of that pink uh, kind of purple color over here, uh, at least I can see it with my naked eye, that's indicative uh, of neon and argon. Uh, but for the most part, um, the lamp has become significantly more brighter uh, and is almost now entirely monochromatic in yellow. So let this run now for a few more minutes in fast forward so it can finish the warm-up process. All 
Okay, we'll slow the video back down to normal speed. We're 15 minutes uh, into the startup process and the lamp is now uh, entirely yellow um, and very, very much brighter than it was when we started. But of course now it's that uh, single wavelength monochromatic spectrum. Um, so don't know how it appears on the video, uh, but it's almost too bright for me to stare at. Um, now, one of the, the neat features about these low pressure sodium lamps is that once the sodium is vaporized uh, and the lamp is warm, which is the case now since it's been running for 15 minutes, um, even if there is a disconnect in the power, um, so long as power is restored and the sodium is still in the vapor phase, um, the lamp restrikes automatically. Uh, it doesn't have to go up through this warm up process again. So I'll demonstrate that here just by turning off the power for a moment and then turning it back on. So here's the power going off and it's totally dark because I've got all the incandescent bulbs off in my lab and now I'm turning the power back on and you can see it immediately strikes back to that nice monochromatic yellow hue representative of um, sodium vapor in the plasma phase. So. This is uh, the initial video showing um, just some of the neat, cool initial features of the low pressure sodium vapor lamp. All right, thanks for your attention and I'll see you in future videos.